Tom Nichols along with Patrick Cashin. And Patrick, we get to see a major leaguer on the hill for the Dragons. Brandon Williams had expected to go maybe three or four innings here tonight. He was with the Reds last year, made 23 starts in the big leagues through 117 innings, second most on the Reds ball club. So he'll be out there tonight uh, on his first half chance back. He has not pitched in a major league or minor league game this year in the minor leagues anywhere in the red system so this would be his first time on the mound sounds like a few raindrops i can hear i can barely see it very light rain baseball strike three call got him looking nebin's a, a strikeout victim that's a one two three inning for williamson helping to lead them to a state championship and a regional final baseball strike three call got him looking second strikeout for williamson Here's the 0-2 again from Williamson. Swing and a miss, strike three. That's three strikeouts in a row for Brandon Williamson. Williamson trying to make it a perfect inning as he deals. Breaking ball in there, strike three call. Boy, Williamson has looked sharp here today. Three up, three down, all on strikeouts. Wind up for Williamson in the pitch. Swing a ground ball, sharply hit to Ibarra, the first baseman. He fields it well in a tough hop and races to the bag, steps on it for the out. A defensive play there by Ruben Ibarra. Very hard hit ground ball in his way. Basically right to him. Ruben went down on one knee to field that in the glove. Two balls and one strike to the Great Lakes catcher in the pitch. Swing a ground ball. This is it near the second base back. Great play by Stewart. Up the throw and that is in time to get the out. What a play by Stewart. Stumbled to his right to field that sharply hit ground ball behind the second base bag. And a great throw on of first to retire Lorenzo and retire the side. Able to make an accurate and crisp throw to first base in time to retire Lorenzo as Ibarra rips this one in left field. That's a base hit on a sharp ground to there from Ruben. And the Dragons have their second hit of the night and finish the rest of the series between the fourth and eighth of the month. 1-1, swing a line drive, that's in a right center field, base hit, Ibarra around second, on his way to third, on his way to second is Rodriguez, and he slides in safely ahead of a potential throw. Man, Hector Rodriguez with the speed there, also give credit to Ruben Ibarra, legging that out to third. Pretty standard line drive to right center field by Hector Rodriguez, center fielder Vogel got over there, so to the right fielder Campbell. It was Campbell that picked up the ball, fired a throw to the infield, but Rodriguez wasn't content with just one base. Two balls and one strike, pitch to Sal. Swing and a line drive. This is in a left center field. That's down for a base hit. Ibarra scores around third, comes Rodriguez. He scores. Two run single. Sal Stewart breaks the ice in the bottom of the third inning, and the Dragons on top, two to nothing. RBI's 14 and 15 on the year for Sal Stewart as he roped that ball in a left center field. Ibarra easily came in from third. Rodriguez able to leg it out from second. And the Dragons here with a little two on rally going to the bottom of the third inning, up 2 nothing in this game. 1-2. Hits the outside corner, strike three. Kyle Nevin goes down looking. 3-2 pitch. Swing and a ground ball. That's in a right field for a base hit. Noah Miller's coming around third. Throw will go to second. So that's an RBI single for Chris Newell. And Great Lakes has found the scoreboard here in the top of the fourth inning. It's now a two to one ball game. Somewhat a large lead off from the back. Cardona didn't like that. So the next pitch is swung on and missed. And a breaking ball there. Campbell fans swinging and that'll retire the side in the top half of the fourth inning. For a major league outfielder. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Got him an off-speed pitch. Like the change up that time, and Miller's his strikeout victim. Key spot in this game right here. Dragons up by one. You want to avoid the big inning. 48. Here's the ground ball short. Might be a double play. Throw to second one. On to first. In time, they get him. Just what the doctor ordered. 6-4-3 double play. Bolcazar to Stewart to Ibarra. And that gets Cardona out of trouble and holds the lead. It's 2-1 Dragons going to the bottom half of the sixth inning. 2-2, swing and a miss. He struck him out. That's a big second out of the inning. Garcia fans swinging. And Timpanelli with a big K there. 
That'll bring up the ninth spot and Jake Vogel, the center fielder. Timpanelli set, and the one, two. Got him looking strike three on the inside corner. A huge strikeout there by Vin Timpanelli. It's 2-1 Dayton Dragons. New pitcher is expected, right-handed Brock Bell of the ball game. Brock Bell, the new Dragons pitcher, in his ninth game, two wins, two losses, one save, and an ERA of 3.00. Jake Geloff up there to lead things off. Ground ball hit left side. Diving stop by Collier. Up, guns it across, and got him. Nice play to begin the inning. Collier a diving stop to his left. Made the play, got up, threw out Geloff. Put a star by that one. One down. 3-2 count to Campbell. And the payoff pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Got him in a good changeup. Two down. Bell throws a changeup. Campbell was out in front. That's a big second out of the inning. Beautiful pitch there from Brock Bell. And the 2-2, Brock Bell winds, kicks, and fires. Swing and a miss, and put this one to the win column. A 1-2-3 inning for Brock Bell. He gets the save. Outstanding pitching again. Back-to-back -back game for the Dragons when their pitching was superb. And in this one, it's a combination of Williamson, Cardona, Tempanelli, Sycama, and Bell, those five combined on a three-hitter. The only run came in the fourth inning. The two-run single by Sal Stewart in the third was the big hit for the Dragons and a big defensive play by Stewart as well that saved a run. Dragons have won two straight and three of their last four. They open this series with the, the Loons tied for first place, the Loons on the year, and the Dragons up 1-0 in the series over Great Lakes.